is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we're back at Copart here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to go join me on TikTok. I created a TikTok account because people are stealing my content from YouTube and Facebook, and they are uploading it to to TikTok and they're making money. Like they're getting serious views, serious views. They're using my name and everything. They're using my icons, they're using my name, my avatar, whatever. They're using everything. They're stealing my content and they're making money off of my work. So if you wanna help support me on that, go over to TikTok and follow me, Auto Auction Rebuilds. I'm the one that only has, I don't have a whole lot of videos up yet guys, but my my, I use my side profile pic, something like that. You know what I mean? You're like, something like that is the profile picture. You should be able to tell the difference between me and the other people. But if you go over there and, and join me on TikTok, the link is below the video, Auto Auction Rebuilds or Rebuild. You could type it in either way, it'll pop up. But the link is de directly below the video, guys. Just click it, expand the little description box below and click on my TikTok one. Go follow me over there. And if you see anybody impersonating me over there, please do me a solid and report them for impersonating me or for copyright infringement. I would truly appreciate y'all's help on that. With that, let's jump into the video. Now, before we get too far into it, guys, I saw this charger um, from across the way. Somehow I missed it in the previous video, and I guarantee you somebody has called me out on it by now. Uh, I don't know why I skipped this car, because from across the way, it caught my attention. Oh, that's horrible paint. Ooh. All right. I mean, that's no big deal. It needs to be painted. It's got mismatched wheels. You got a stock on the back, some weird one right here, a rough racing. Then over here, I think you've got something completely different. No, these are rough racing. So it's got three out of four. The hood, though... I like that custom hood, but whoever painted it, they didn't prep it right. You've got crow's feet throughout the entire paint. I mean, the whole hood covered in crow's feet. When that happens, it's got to be sanded all the way down. All the way down, guys. It's going to have to be completely sanded down, reprimed, and everything. It's going to need a new set of wheels and tires. Front bumper's got some damage. You're going to have to take away all that green crap and paint over that or something. Change it to black or whatever. Anything but green. This may have been a Daytona package back in the day. It's got the Daytona stripes, but it's the wrong color. I think Daytonas were blue. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. A little bit of damage to the back. But, ooh, yeah, I didn't see that. Quarter damage too. Yes, you could. This is not worthy of replacing the quarter panel. The car itself just isn't worth it, guys. It's 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 it's. This car doesn't have much value, is what I'm trying to say. This would be worth popping out, filling in, trying to recontour the lines and just shooting paint. The whole car needs paint anyway. The window tint is shot. God, this car needs a lot, guys. It's really, I mean, it doesn't look like it, but you need the bumper. That needs to be replaced. Quarter panel needs to be repaired. The entire car needs sanded and repainted. It needs wheels. It needs tires. We haven't even gotten to the interior yet. It needs window tint. I mean, it's not too bad back here. Let's see what it's like up front. I bet she's got some miles on her too. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's a little, she's a little rough. Oh, smells like weed. Smells strong weed. That's just not my thing, guys. No offense to anybody that smokes or whatever. I used to back in the day when, you know, back when I was younger. But uh, this ain't my thing anymore. Now the smell of just, I don't even like it. Don't even like smell of pot anymore. Oh yeah, tore up seat. She's, she's definitely. Oh, there's the reason for the smell. Yep, yep. Right there. Oh, and here. Yep. <laughs> I told you. I told you. All right. Can we just pop the hood? She's got a Hemi, I think. I'm fairly certain this is a... Uh-oh. Hood didn't pop. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's that old Hemi, man. Boy, she's tired. You could... <laughs> <laughs> this this engine bay looks how I feel right now, guys. It's a true fiber hood. So I'm assuming it's just fiberglass, not carbon fiber. It's fiberglass. Uh, man, guys, I don't know. Um, on these hoods, you're really supposed to use hood pins on these. You can't really trust the latch on these fiberglass hoods. I mean, you can, I don't recommend it though. You should really utilize hood pins when using an aftermarket hood like that. I mean, it's, 
it could be let me say it that way it could be a good looking car if you fixed up the seat the center console which isn't a big deal uh the front bumpers hanging off a little bit that could be fixed repainting the grill fine no problem um that's an aftermarket grill anyway kind of looks like an old uh what am i thinking uh with the with the slit the slats the yeah what am i thinking guys the old uh damn it i can't think of it that grill though that grill looks very familiar um yeah rear quarter wheels tires tent yeah, yeah what i'm saying is i'm not even going to bother jump starting it guys because this car needs way too much work and i just don't see the value there but how about an old range rover what year is this a 19 i guess it really ain't that old is it oh this is nice oh yeah 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 this is actually really nice battery's dead why is this here it's the sport sam crack would not approve anytime i buy a range rover the first thing he asks is is it a sport and if i tell him yes then he's like nah he's <laughs> he wants nothing to do with the sports man this is nice though i don't care i like this i like this a lot i know better i absolutely know better than to buy one of these in fact i've had so many problems with them guys i just I tend to stay away from these things anymore, in case you haven't noticed. These 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 are really problematic. But Swamp Boy's Garage just bought them one. Dead as a doornail. Yeah, there's fur everywhere in this thing, like everywhere. So if you want to see their struggle with their uh, with their latest Range Rover. Well, go check them out. I highly recommend you check out Swamp Boys Garage. Uh, they've been around for a while, man. They've done some very, very awesome builds. They deserve a lot more subscribers than they currently have, so... Where's the hood release? See, already problematic is what I'm saying. Maybe you gotta pull it twice. I don't know. Go check out Swamp Boys Garage, guys. I think you'll, uh, I think you'll enjoy the variety of content they have over there. Hell, I can't even, if I can't figure out how to open the hood, I don't need the damn car. That's, I'm, I'm done. Seriously. Are you serious right now? I There's no room either. Like, I'm, I'm stuck between these cars. This is unbelievable. I see the latch. I, I just don't, I don't see how to open it. I guess I'm screwed on this one then. There's the latch right there. There's one of them. And I see a cable, runs way over to the other side. But I don't see any, it's gotta be, there it is. There it is. I wasn't gonna give up, guys. I really was, I was about to give up. All right, let's grab the jump pack. Let's fire this one up. You guys ready? I really don't know why this thing is sitting here though. I know a lot of you are gonna say because it's a Range Rover, a Land Rover, right? <laughs> That's funny, I get it. Yeah, you're, you are kind of right, though. Let's see what she does. Fire in the hole. Fire, there it is, up there. What? Okay to drive with caution, transmission not in park. What? Park. Neutral. Drive. I don't know. No, she's done, guys. She's done. Look at the little LCD screens. Look at that. Look at those. Those aren't LCD. That's just backlit. I mean, everything comes on. She sure don't run, though. Press brake. And then it turns off. <laughs> okay, well, that was a colossal waste of time. Why am I not surprised? I shouldn't be surprised, really. I... I, I yeah, Land Rover things, guys. Land Rover things. And it's already taken up like two volts out of my booster pack just sitting here not doing anything. Yep, typical. And it's only got like 86, 89,000 miles on the odometer. I'm sorry, guys. That's uh, <laughs> These things are way too expensive for something like that to happen. How about an all-wheel drive Pontiac Vibe? No, I'm kidding. I'm not interested in that. Chevy Malibu? No, we're not interested in that either. You know, it probably doesn't start because somebody manually put it into neutral for towing and uh, it never got put back. So it's probably just stuck in tow mode and it will not start. So who knows? Maybe it'll run. Maybe it won't. Let's go on down this aisle, see if we can find anything worth looking at. 
down here. An old Buick. Is that the Lucerne? It's got the portholes on it. Believe it or not, here's something that I just learned the other day, guys. Buick made, what was it called? A, uh, a Premier, a, a Platino, I don't remember. It had the 5.3 in it. It had the LS under the hood. A Buick. I'm, I'm serious. It wasn't a CXL, though. Underneath where it says uh, Lucerne, instead of CXL, it said something else like premium or premier or, or power. It was called power. That's right. It was called power. It looked just like this. This is not it. But I couldn't believe it. I found this on a, another auction site. It was an old Buick. I was looking at it. I was like, I don't know. I kind of like the old Buicks, man. They're decent, you know? And I saw where it said power, and it even said power on the dash. Like, somewhere under there, it said power. It had an insignia on there. Well, this one stinks. Golly. What is with these smelly cars, man? Um, I was looking at the under the hood pictures, and I couldn't believe it. Under the hood, where this one sits the 3800 Series 3, which, by the way, is one of the greatest motors ever made. Um, it was a it was a 5.3 V8 front it was a front wheel drive V8. It's basically an Impala SS uh, with a Buick badge on it. I could I could not believe it. I've never seen one of those before. I don't. I kind of like this one, guys. I don't really need. I, it's covered in hail, which you know whatever. It's no big deal. If you buy it that way, then you get what you pay for. You know you get a a discount for the hail damage. I'm just I'm not all that interested in a uh, in a Buick right now. All right, moving on. Chevy Cruze RS LTZ. Now, this would be a great first car for the boy. Oh, well, that's not that bad. Hell, that's nothing, really. Doesn't look like anything underlying got damaged. Needs a fender, needs a front bumper, headlight assembly, a hood. Parts for these are a dime a dozen, guys. You can go to the picket yard, get all these parts for next to nothing. The door survived. I don't see any other damage. Tires need to be replaced. No bags are deployed. A little dirty. Doesn't smell like pot. Doesn't really smell like anything. Probably got the little 1.4 turbo under the hood would be my assumption. I don't know. These cars could go either way, man. Some of them had the 1.4 and some of them had the 1.8. The 1.8's a naturally aspirated uh, timing belt motor, and I hate those. This is definitely the 1.4 turbo, though. This way to go. I know, I know this car like the back of my hand, man. <laughs> I do. These are so easy and economical. Uh, these are great cars. I don't care what anybody says. These are... These are great cars. This one, a little rough, not too hard to fix, but I don't think this is something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be messing with for him. So we'll continue on and see what else we can find. I'm looking for something, I don't know. Is this an SHO, real quick? I don't think so. No, it's not an SHO, just a regular Taurus. I'd definitely pick up an SHO out here if I could find one. Here's what he needs. The boy needs a Kia Soul. Everybody, no, no. No, we're gonna we're gonna walk right past it. Listen, if you guys happen to see something that I missed, something that you wanted to see, you would be interested in seeing on the channel, timestamp it down below and tell me what it was. And I will do my best to check it out next time I'm out here. With that said, some of you get mad because it's like I told you I wanted to see this and you never showed it again. Well, here's here's the catch, guys. It has to still be here when, when I come back. You know what I mean? Copart out here, they sell something like 600 plus cars a week. Okay, every week. Imagine that. 600 plus cars every week at this one Oklahoma City auction. All right, that doesn't even include up in Tulsa. Okay, so just remember, that's a lot of cars moving out and have a lot of cars moving in every single week. So there are the chances are very good that you're not going to see the car in another video because it's probably already gone. I saw this town car. I kind of dig the two-tone paint. It's one of those deals where you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. I kind of love it, if I'm being honest. I kind of like that. That silver black, that's nice. I don't know, I don't know who did that, but uh Oh, it's not black. That's dark blue. Heavy metallic blue, too. Dang. I actually really like that, guys. I actually I actually really like that a lot. That's pretty clean. I'm not going to mess with that, though, so we're going to move on. No Panthers right now, unless I can find a Marauder. A Hyundai. We'll skip that. What is this little convertible? Is that, a, is that an Audi over there? Probably should avoid it if it is. Volkswagen. I don't know. Hyundai? It's an Audi. <laughs> did you guys see what I did there? 
Audi, Volkswagen, Hyundai, I don't know. They're all the same, right? This one's got a little bit of damage down the side, not too bad. Door, dog leg, probably quarter damage too. 15A3 Premium. Oh, she got hit in the rear too. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not the worst. Crash bar, the trunk is damaged, the pan's damaged a little bit. This quarter is really damaged, door needs replaced. Nope, skip that. Another Kia Soul though. Oh, is this an old Mazda? Hold up. Oh, see, this is something I would buy and send to Mako immediately. Sorry, it's an Infiniti. It's a Q45. What is this? A G20. Boy, I am, I'm just wrong on everything today, guys. And this is trashed. Like, this whole car is trashed. I can't believe I thought that's a little bitty car. Looks like a little Mazda Protégé. And I thought it was a Q45. Q45, guys. I don't know if you remember the 90s, but the Q45 in the 90s, man, that was the car. Had that all aluminum V8. It was absolutely sick. And it was big. It was a big car. I cannot believe I just confused the baby G20 with the Q45. Go ahead and, and just rip me a new one in the comments below, guys. I absolutely deserve it. I promise I won't block you. All right, moving on. Let's see what else we can find out here, guys. There's got to be something really cool and interesting. out. There's got to be. I know there is. You just got to, you got to, you got to go through every single car, guys. That's the thing. Like, you got to walk and walk and walk. And eventually, if you spend enough time perusing the inventory out here, you find something cool out here. This is an old Bonneville. I think we've already seen that one. No, it's a Buick. It's an old Buick. She wrecked. I love these old Buicks, man. And I don't know why. Oh, eh, she's a little, oh, she's rough. She's real rough. We'll scratch that one. Scratch that one. This one needs more work than I'd be willing to give it. Interior looks pretty good though. Curious on the miles. It's been sitting a while. Oh, wow. Oh, oh man, <laughs> I love these. I really do. Only 92,000 miles. Headliners falling apart, the interior's trash, the body's trash, it's a shame. It's been sitting for years. There's spider webs and stuff all over the interior. Which, you know, if the car was in better shape, I'd jump on it heartbeat. I don't mind spider webs, I don't mind the dirt and debris and stuff, but this one, this is trashed, man. Windshields busted, the fender's trashed, missing hubcaps, bad tires, the front end's wrecked, the interior's tore up. It's like, even if I could get it for 200 bucks, out the door is going to cost me like 450 you know what I mean? Uh, and the car is just not worth it. It's not worth it. If it's in better shape, in a heartbeat. All right. Ooh. Ooh. C8 Corvette. Oh, wow. Um, yes, please. Custom exhaust, too. It's got Corsa exhaust. I didn't know this was going to be here. Ouch. Oh man, yeah, damn it. Well, it comes with all the parts, <laughs> so that's good. Uh, the back bumper, the front bumper. She, she's, this one's pretty bad, guys. This one's pretty bad. Damn. The fiberglass is destroyed back here. I mean, it is absolutely destroyed, all of it. It is ripped apart. Not surprised to see this one uh, totaled. Some of these things, some of these things, I don't get it. I see them and I'm like, how is this salvaged? This one, this one I get. Oh, we can't even try to start it because it's full of stuff. Huh. Well, that sucks. What's the mileage? Can we see anything? I don't even know where the start button is. It's buried like, yeah, I don't know. I can't, uh, I can't get in here. I wish we could have saw the mileage on this though. What a shame. I wonder if the, the trunk will pop. Oh, that's the door release. Where's the, uh... there we go. I mean, at least we can take a look at the motor, right? Maybe it's got aftermarket headers. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's lots of damage back here. Nope. Looks like it's got a... Will you guys tell me? Yeah, it looks like factory factory headers. Looks like it's got factory catalytic converters. I like the valve covers are painted to match the car. It's a nice touch. 
Man, great car. My fiance doesn't care for the C8 at all. She doesn't like it. She said it doesn't look like a Corvette anymore. She said now it looks like every other... Uh, there we go, that's somewhat closed. She said now the, uh, the Corvette looks like every other European car on the road. She said it's no longer a Corvette and she doesn't care for it. So if you've wondered, how come I never went out and bought a C8? Well, there you go, guys. Uh, absolutely could afford to go buy one, but she absolutely doesn't like it. But with that said, I bought the Viper without really asking her opinion on it. And uh, she doesn't like the Viper either. She she literally doesn't want to go anywhere with me in the Viper. Now, with that said, I'm currently watching two different C8 Corvettes, uh, regardless of what she thinks. <laughs> she doesn't have to ride with me, right? You don't like my car, you got your own car. You can ride in your own car. Um, I'm gonna drive what I want to drive. So I am I am currently watching two C8 Corvettes, and I think I'm I'm gonna throw my 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 what do you call it my hat in the ring something like that on one of them definitely not both one is a tornado car and it's pretty rough but i think i can fix it the other one i don't even know exactly what's going on with the other one other than it was a theft recovery it's got some unknown damage undercarriage damage who knows what all is going on with it i've shown that one on the channel a couple three five times the other one i've only shown once so we'll see what happens, but I am, I am very, very much interested and trying to win a C8 Corvette that needs work for the channel here very soon. This, and I know you're gonna laugh, this is another car I was thinking about for Nick. This is the 2.4 multi-air. Hopefully it's automatic. He prefers an automatic. He wants to learn how to drive stick, but he doesn't wanna do it right now. And I tried to tell him you should learn how to drive stick first and then an automatic won't be a problem. But, you know, it is what it is. He wants an automatic. So I got to thinking about it. What he doesn't know is that I'm considering a Dodge Dart. Uh, this one's really not bad. It's got good tires too, man. Uh, Douglas up front. What do we got on the back here? We got a, uh, I don't know, Ken something. But anyway, it's got good tread is what I'm trying to say. Bright orange, kind of racy looking, you know what I mean? Sporty looking, I like it. You got a Douglas up here, and you got a Goodyear back here. So it's definitely got a pair of tires that match on the front. The back ones do not match, but they all have good tread. It's got a little bit of damage to the back bumper. Who cares? It's a first car, it doesn't matter. It's a nice orange, it stands out. It's kind of nice, it'll be easy to find in a parking lot. It's got tinted windows. And I, I know you're laughing. I know I can I can hear you laughing through the computer here, guys. Yeah, I get it. It's a Dodge Dart. But I actually love these little cars. I really do. And I gotta show you the little the little secret compartment in the front seat here. Oh, this one doesn't have it. Ah. They usually have a little compartment where you can pull the seat and it opens up with a little compartment hidden under there. I don't think this one's got any juice. She's got no juice. You get a nice screen, nice gauges. I like the car, I really do. I talked to Jessica about it because obviously her opinion matters on this one, right? And, uh, uh-oh. Well, that's a, that's a problem. That's a, that's a real problem. I gotta be able to start it. It's a 2014. I'd like to know a little bit more about it. Why is the, what's with these wires? Huh. Well, I mean, if I can't pop the hood, then I can't really do anything with this car, guys. I can't start it, I can't. Let me see if I can find something, maybe I can you know, negotiate with the hood a little bit. All right, I had to negotiate with the hood and I'm not gonna tell you how I did it, but we got it done. First thing I noticed, all the bolts for the coils have been pulled out. Uh, the coils had no plugs connected, so I put the plugs back on. I got a feeling I already know what's wrong with this car. Oh, well, I didn't even check the oil. Uh-oh, we got milkshake. Yep, we've got milkshake. Well, I got a feeling we're gonna have no compression. Obviously a car with a blown head gasket is, uh, is not what we're looking for. 
this doesn't do anything. It doesn't even try. Oop, the thing just fell off. Put it in neutral? Nothing. Huh. Okay. It does nothing at all, guys. It makes no attempt to click, clack, like nothing at all. I've got it hooked up good. Air box is missing. Like th this thing, something is, uh, that's a shame. It's a good looking car. It is a good looking car. Naturally aspirated, you know. Overall, relatively easy to work on in the big scheme of things. Not something that I really want to jump into and like have to put an engine in. I'm trying to find something that actually already runs. That would be good. But, oh, well, there it is. I still like the color though. I don't know. A little too damaged as far as cosmetics go in conjunction with the fact that it probably needs an engine. All right, continuing on, I see a Maserati across the way. I'm probably gonna have to go take a quick peek at the Maserati, just real fast, guys. Um, somehow I missed it. Another one of these dang Buicks. There's a lot of Buicks out here. Let's just run across the street real quick and take a look at the Maserati. I'm assuming it's a Quattroporte. Let's see. Uh, Gran Luso. Yeah, this is going to be a Quattroporte, I do believe. This is not a, uh, yep, Quattroporte GTS. I believe this has the 4.7 liter Ferrari-derived V8 engine. Um, of course, it's a Daimler Chrysler product. Accident damage doesn't look the worst. 2019. Yeah, this is going to go for some money, guys. Bags blown? Nope, it's got the red interior, too. Yes, sir. Only 32,000 miles? Yeah, she's going for some money, guys. She is going for some money. Oh, man. She's pretty nice. I like it. Let's start it up. The old Chrysler start-stop button. Oh, she's not happy. I'm assuming we got a boost pipe loose or off. Still nice though, guys. Man. Bowers and Wilkins Audio. Never heard of them. But damn, this is a nice car. I could, I could get used to this. Pop the hood. Assuming it'll open. Oh, there's the air conditioning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure it's all, yeah, yeah, yeah. AC still works too, guys. Very nice, all right. Yeah, this is doable. How much do you think this is gonna go for? With only 34,000 miles on the odometer. And how much do you think it's gonna cost to fix? God, I like this. I like, I like this a lot. I'm not a huge Quattroporte fan. I'd rather have a Gran Turismo. Um, and I'm definitely not a, uh, what is it, the uh, Maserati Ghibli, the Ghibli. I don't really care for the Ghibli either. It's not uh, not really my cup of tea. But this Quattroporte right here, this is tough, man. Like this is, this is, the, ooh, wow. So I was not aware that the engine changed. Uh, definitely a V8, but this is twin turbo, whereas the old Maseratis were naturally aspirated. What size engine is this? And how much damage is there? Is this plastic? No, it's aluminum. Obviously, the fender is trash. Under here, this is where it gets a little scary. This is going to be your, uh, one of your intercoolers for the turbos. So you've definitely got some damage. Oh yeah, you can feel the boost blowing through it. <laughs> Yeah, she's got a tad bit of a boost leak there, guys. A little bit of damage, some of the underlying stuff here. Headlight, bumper, fender, uh, hood. I promise you, this stuff right here is going to be expensive all by itself. But even with a massive boost leak, it's actually running really great. I'm dying to see what size this engine is, though. It is a... It just says 2019 blah, blah, blah. 3.8 liter V8. Oh, boy. 
You know what I see? A bunch of money. That's what I see. I see a car that wants to break your bank. And it'll do it too, man. But damn, this is nice. Damn, this is nice, guys. What do you think? I'm gonna pull it up on Copart's website. Oh, she's trying to die. So Copart says this car is valued at about $46,000. Um, and that's pre-accident condition, obviously. Not current condition, but still, I don't think the damage is that bad. I really don't. Yeah, it doesn't want to run. It's got a massive boost leak, so no surprise. We'll go ahead and shut that off. But it does run, and it was actually running quite well for a while there. Um, Definitely some damage to take into consideration, but this is not that bad. This is really not that bad. I'm gonna close the hood. It's on the watch list, although the truth is I don't. I don't think this is one that's gonna be in the price range that I'm gonna be willing to, uh, to bid on it. The first thing I'm gonna do though, when I get home, is I am going to price the fender, the hood, the headlight, an inner cooler, and the bumper, because those are the things I can see clearly off the bat that are gonna need replaced on this car and depending on how much all of that stuff costs between ebay and carparts.com will determine how much if anything i'd be willing to bid on this i do like this i really do but i've also been really thinking about a c8 corvette and the truth is if i got to choose between this maserati and one of those c8s guys it's going to be the c8 all day all day i'm going to bring a c8 over a maserati all right continuing on there's a little toyota over there I think we've already been down this row. Maybe not. Oh, I see a, uh, I see a Challenger. See all the stuff over here. I can't even get to this, guys. I can't even. I can't. I can't do this. I don't have waterproof shoes anymore. You know what I mean? Can't do it. Uh, yeah, this is gnarly, man. Let's see what else they got. I see this Challenger though, and I can't help but want to go look at it. I think it's just a V6 with some graphics though. Oh, there's a turbo Honda. Oh, it's... God, you know how bad I want to go see that? You guys ain't going to be able to even see it from this video. It's got a big old front mount intercooler. Lowered, wheels. That's a slick looking Honda right there, guys. She is slick. And I can't get to it. it it's literally like it's in the middle of, a, of a, a flooded field there. I can't do it. Um... Now there's a nice old Buick. God, these are so comfortable. What is it, like an 03, 02, 03? 04, Le Sabre from Auction Dealer Service. Ooh. Oh, she looked better on the outside than she does on the inside. That's for sure. Good Lord. Nah. <laughs> and covered in hail damage. <laughs> That's, what a shame. And uh, I do like this Chally over here, though. I, I, I really do. The black with the orange and the kind of gray color. I like it. Uh, front end, totally trash. V6 anyway. So I'm going to say no real big loss there, guys. Just pissed off a lot of people, I'm sure. All right. You see anything, man, let me know. I think we're getting back to... Yeah, we're getting back to the front of the yard now. And I'm just not seeing anything that... That, uh... That Maserati stood out to me, though. I had to go look at that. Oh, a Volvo. What is this, like an S40? Oh, it's smashed in the back. It is really smashed in the back. I would not hesitate to buy another Volvo if I could find one, guys. I actually really liked that little, hell, I don't even remember what it was anymore. An, an S80? Or the, no, it was a Volvo 850 T5. That's what it was. It's been a while, guys. I sold that too, man. I sold the pizza car for like 975 bucks with all the stuff. That sign, the sign cost me, God, I paid like $300, $350 for the sign. The bag was $50. So I got $400 just into the sign and the bag. The shirt was $30, the hat was $20, and then of course the car, I paid $1,200 for it. Not to worry though, guys, and all the money I put into it. Uh, not to worry. I made, I made out like a bandit on the video views of that car, guys. I may have lost the, I lost the money on the car itself, but YouTube revenue, that car got hundreds of thousands of views, guys. I did over five grand in video revenue on that car alone. 
and I still got paid for it. You know what I mean? I still sold the car for almost a thousand dollars. So you're not going to hear me complain too much about that. The Volvo, surprisingly, the Volvo sold for $1,500. I was shocked. $475 car sold for $1,500. Somebody bought it now. Like they just boom sold. That car was gone almost instantly. Somebody got them a hell of a car. Now I think I'm about done for today, guys. It is it is hot as hell out here. I'm not even joking. But I had to stop and see this little 300Z sitting over here. I mean, you just don't see these anymore. You know what I mean? One of those diamonds in the rough, even if it doesn't run. Even if it's an automatic. Oh, it got totaled by hail. Yeah, it got totaled by hail. Oh man. That's a crying shame. It is an automatic. I'll forgive it this time. <sighs> Hatch got blown out of it. Oh man, I'm sorry. I know these are cars that people, you know, they either love them or they hate them. There's not much in between, but these really were something. These, these really were. I, I generally like the older style better. The Datsun, you know, the 280s. 163,000 miles on the odometer. No kidding. Oh, this car smells like straight ass. No joke. This this is bad. You got your classic tried and true overhead cam 3 liter V6. We'll pop the hood so you can see it real quick. Of course, rear wheel drive. There it is. There she is, guys. The fan shroud seems to be missing. Somebody's got silicon hoses. How cool is this, right? The radiator is up here. And the hoses run through the core support to get, to get to the engine, right? Yeah. Man, it's even still got the AC belt on, guys. That's a, that's a tough motor right there. Uh, not the most powerful, for sure. But uh, you keep that timing belt changed and valve cover gaskets. These things are always leaking oil out of the valve cover gaskets. You keep the valve cover gaskets replaced, keep that timing belt changed, water pump, keep the oil changed, all that good stuff. These are great little cars, man. And that, it doesn't matter if it's a 300, doesn't matter if you're looking at a Nissan Maxima, just generally speaking, these are great powertrains. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to have to get out of here. I got places to go and people to see and all of that good stuff today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. And remember, I do have a TikTok account if you're on there. I don't expect many of you are, but if you're on TikTok, feel free to click the link in the description below and uh, it'll take you right to my TikTok account where I'm uploading old shorts, guys. Probably short videos that I doubt any of you have seen or I doubt many of you have seen. A lot of it is stuff I've never released before. And I thought it'd be a good time to post some of that old stuff, help grow my TikTok account because there are people on TikTok that are pretending to be me. They're using my name, they're using my image, and they are using my videos. They're straight up stealing my content and impersonating me. Uh, you can find me because I'll be auto auction rebuilds and I'll have the profile pick something, something like that. It's, it's up there. You'll see me. I've only got a few videos. If you go to the channel and they've got hundreds of videos, that ain't me. Right now, as of the making of this video, I've got like six, six videos on TikTok. That's me. I'm the guy with no followers while all the people pretending to be me are getting paid. And hey, if you see somebody impersonating me, feel free to report them to whether it's Facebook, whether it's TikTok, YouTube, feel free to uh, report anybody impersonating me or stealing my content. I would really appreciate it. Not quite fair that I come out here and I'm in the heat where I'm sweating for hours and hours out here in this hot sun making content while people sitting on a computer chair in their mom's basement in the air conditioning uh, get paid for my work. Definitely not right. With that said, I'm out of here, guys. Stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.